Janet Laminack, and I'm here to see if you don't know mulch. I don't know mulch, but I do know mulch. Anyway, we're talking about what's growing on here at, on Horticulture, Aggie Horticulture Facebook Live. I'm the County Extension Agent in Denton County, and we want to talk about what is mulch and how do you use it, and is it the same thing as compost? So that's what we're going to talk about today. Okay, so we're going to talk about what is mulch and why is it important. Mulch is any kind of a material that you put on top of the soil. So it's like a blanket to the soil. Some people call it the icing on the cake and there are reasons for that. So mulch is any kind of uh, material that we put on the top of the soil. I'm gonna show you different types of mulch because there's a lot of different kinds. So why is it important? First of all, mulch does moderate the soil temperature. So sometimes here in Texas, the heat and the sun is so intense that you can actually kind of fry your roots in the ground. I know that sounds dreadful, but that can happen. Mulch can kind of keep it a little bit more moderated, the temperature uh, of the soil. It can also kind of create something a little warmer sometimes. So use that to your advantage. Um, we talk about well mulching something, you know, whenever it's uh, getting colder. Mulch is probably most famous for conserving water. And that's why we really like to promote it because it prevents a lot of evaporation um, from the soil surface. And it just helps the soil, it, it is like the icing on the cake, which I never knew this, but you put the icing on to keep it from drying out. So same thing with mulch, you put it on, not just to make it look good, but to keep the soil from drying out. Mulch can also help with erosion control, um, and it's supposed to help with weed suppression, which I'll show you doesn't work completely without, you know, it's not foolproof, uh, especially like Bermuda grass, you're gonna always have to fight that. However, if you do have a nice layer of mulch, then you can pull out weeds a lot of times, a lot easier than you could otherwise. Okay. So first of all, I wanna talk about how you can buy mulch. You can purchase it in bags like this. This is just a hardwood mulch. This is my favorite kind, just cause it's usually cheap. Um, also, you might notice in the stores you can buy red mulch or black mulch, and that is just simply wood chips that they have painted with some kind of a, you know, it's a, it's a safe paint, but still, that's just painted, and so it's going to fade out eventually anyway. So, I have, to, this, this time, I decided to do mulch in bags, and so you might can see that I have it kind of scattered out in spots, and that's the handy thing about having mulch in bags. Um, it's not going to be as cheap. The other way you can do it is to get a big huge mountain of mulch delivered to your front yard, which I have done a few times. Uh, neighbors don't always like that. Don't do it if you live in an HOA, um, but that's also an option. That's a cheap way to get a lot of mulch. Sometimes you can get it almost free or free, depending because of uh, tree companies when they're chipping up wood, they need to go deposit it somewhere. The other thing I want to point out though is so if you're thinking about getting, if you're thinking about doing a colored mulch, the thing to know is that all the mulch will probably fade out over time anyway. So the mulch that we see out here that I'll show you in the front, my wood mulch, it's, it looks a lot paler now, but at one point it was a lot darker. So you can pay extra to have it black or red if you'd like, but just know that's going to fade. Uh, it's just a matter of preference. The mulch that we have here in the front is just a wood chip mulch and you can see it's kind of white by now so it weathers out um, whenever I kind of stir some up here you know you can see how it was dark to begin with and this a little paintbrush that was in it so you never know what you're gonna get sometimes when you get wood chip mulch so the advantage of using an organic material for your mulch such as wood chips or straw is it will break down over time and that will improve your soil quality. Um, it will um, also encourage, it'll, it'll give the microorganisms something yummy to munch on, which will also improve your soil biology. Now, here's a great example of a vegetable bed, not a great example of a vegetable bed, mind you, no. But in this vegetable bed, I do mulch my vegetable beds. And I just mulched this year with the regular hardwood mulch. However, because a vegetable garden is transitional where you 
are gonna probably like the cucumber was just there I just removed it I got some tomatoes ready to hop in so because you're gonna be changing it up and, and planting different things in it it's nice to use something that breaks down a little quicker we don't need to remove mulch ever and you don't have to get new mulch but you are gonna to want to put new mulch you don't have to get different mulch I guess you don't have to scrape it off and put new mulch on however the better your soil becomes and the more active the soil organisms are the faster you're gonna find that your mulch deplenishes so it's a vicious cycle I guess where the more mulch you have the better and the more mulch you're gonna to have to get so uh, some good things to put in a vegetable bed then might be straw not hay but straw because that's a little easier to maneuver breaks down a little faster um, I've used shredded paper before it's just not very pretty but um, it, it works you have to kind of wet it down um, pine needles are another thing that you might want to use as a mulch and with pine needles you could get a little bit of an acidic um, bonus they have they're a little acidic so you might want to put them in something around something like um, strawberries or blueberries to kind of help get a little more acidity in the soil these are some examples of organic mulches these mean that means they're made out of organic material this is a wood chip mulch that I purchased in a bag uh, I think it's a cedar mulch which might last a little longer this is what I have in my front yard the big huge chunks of wood chips uh, takes them a while to break down um, might have little surprises in it like a paintbrush but this one doesn't this is the wood mulch hardwood mulch that I have in bags in my backyard that's ready to go into the yard at some point so that's what that looks like <clears throat> you can use whatever you have around do you have a lot of pine cones I don't but if you have a lot of pine cones you might want to use that people use pecan shells pine needles cardboard and newspaper both are really great options for composting I mean for mulching you can put these down underneath like your first barrier and then put another kind of mulch on top it'll break down over time might get you lit by a little time on the weeds coming up so these are inorganic mulches which just simply means they're not gonna break down over time you can get some pretty rocks you could get some little gravel pea gravel pebbles crushed granite you know just all types of lava rocks any of that sort of thing you can get fancy with glass beads or stones if you want to but you know again use what you might have around handy look what I have I've got corks or fake corks so use whatever you have uh, to make a nice mulch even if it's an or inorganic mulch like rocks it will still give you the benefits of water conservation and soil temperature moderation so anything like this will work the inorganic will just stay around a little longer both mulch and compost can help take things out of our landfill stream. So when you think about leaves in your yard, you can rake them up, you can use them as mulch. And for compost, you can make your own by using food scraps. Some people will call this compost. This is not compost. These are the raw ingredients for compost. This is uh, food waste. Um, so I've got coffee grounds, onion, spinach. Um, you can put all vegetables in here, but make sure they're raw and don't put any meat products in here all right we're gonna not talk about compost that much but we'll drop some information in the text box for you if you want to learn more about composting um you could do it yourself because compost is just a basically it's just decaying so i used to do this just have a heap of waste like this food waste in my yard but you know what happens is if you don't turn it like you're supposed to and keep it nice and hot you could have a big rat problem. So I was a lazy composter. I don't recommend that. Um, but again, if you do have your own compost pile and you're really good at it because you want to get that high temperature, you can even put weeds in it um, because it'll kill the seeds and such. Now, another thing to do with this kind of food waste, if, especially if you don't have a lot, you might think about getting a worm bin. I know, sounds crazy, but um, vermiculture is what it's called. And you can actually have these worms, red wigglers, in your home in a little box. 
and they they uh, chew up all your food and make really good uh, fertilizer from the from their excrement. So this is not compost. Like I said, this is compost, the finished product. One of the things on compost is that you should not be able to see anything discernible in it. Uh, this does have a little bit of wood chips in it, so maybe it could have had a little longer, but it needs, it needs to be all uniform um, organic material. A lot of cities also have programs now where you can collect your waste and, uh, and, and send it in, or your yard waste as well. Um, and there are also some companies that are doing that. So you might look in your area to see um, where you can take this, this stuff, put it in a bucket, they come get it, then eventually you get um, some compost from it. But it is a good way to reduce what we put into the landfill. So one of the biggest differences between compost and mulch is that compost is used to go in to the garden bed, typically. You can side dress by digging up some area like in your vegetable garden and then putting in your compost. Uh, or you can mix in, you can put in a layer of it and mix it in. Or you could use compost as a mulch, okay? But you don't want to use mulch as a compost, if that makes sense. Another thing that you can do with compost is you can actually put it on your yard. You don't want to put it on it too thick, but just like maybe a half an inch, um, you know, uh, in the spring, and it'll kind of help improve the soil as well. Um, so that's another a way you can use compost. Like that, but, so this is where a big pile of mulch had been, and I just sort of spread it out. But I use mulch for all my beds, as you can see. I'm trying to eliminate my yard, my grass. Um, and I also put it right around my trees. It's, mulch is always really good around trees. You can keep it, you can put mulch all the way out to the drip line on trees. You do not want the mulch to touch the trunk of the tree though. I know it's fashionable right now to make like a volcano on the trunk of your tree, but you don't want to do that. So, um, and another good thing about using mulch like this is think about how you're going to mow. Um, and so, for instance, this is a blackberry that doesn't look very good and there's a shrub over here. So you want to put your mulch, you can create a island or less of an island that's easier to mow around. So you might want to think about not only mulching around your trees will help protect them, improve, you know, give them a lot of benefits. It'll keep people from weed eating around them because they can't get to it. And also, it might make your job just mowing your yard a lot easier. Well, so in conclusion, I didn't tell you how much mulch you should use, but we always recommend about three inches of mulch. This is a great illustration here of having cardboard under a wood chip mulch, kind of to suppress the weeds. Not very effective, as you can see. It got a lot of crabgrass and, of course, Bermuda grass, which is just sort of the bane of, of my existence. So, ah. anyway, so that's all I'm going to talk about really today. I hope that you use mulch. I hope that you found it beneficial. It makes a nice, neat, clean, trim kind of a looking yard. And it's also really, really beneficial for your plants. If you have more questions, make sure you let us know. Thanks for following us. Until next time, bye-bye.